should Lee Anderson say sorry? Uh, he should do one of two things. He should either say sorry or he should prove it. He should name who these Islamists are. He should name in what way they've got control of Sadiq Khan and what way they've got control of London. Uh, what strings they pull, how they got to the positions they're in. If, 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 he, if, he, if he believes this, if someone has said to him down the pub, the Islamists are in charge of London, then, then, he should, then he should be able to name them. If he can't name them, then he's got it wrong and he should apologise. I, it's, it's, uh, I don't actually think it's racist, what he said. I, it doesn't come within the scope of racism, but it does stoke up... Um, I would have thought, annoyance within the uh, uh, Muslim community and indeed probably enrages people who are apt to believe anything that anyone says, which is derogatory about Muslims. So uh, he's, he's got his chance. He can, he, he should, if he, if he has the evidence, prove it. Come on, Lee Anderson, do it. Lord, um, morning, my friend. Um, for morning, me, mate. Um, and we said this at six o'clock, I think his words were wrong. I think what he said... The way he said it was wrong, but I think there is a, a feeling, uh, a sentiment perhaps amongst people, not only in the Red Wall, that this is a discussion that we need to have. Ten years ago in this country, you could not mention the word immigration without being called a racist. It's perfectly possible to have discussions about fanaticism and extremism without targeting every single person in a race or a creed or a culture. So, for me, Lee Anderson has, has almost, with his words, Rod... Um, put a bullet into that, he's, he's taken us back a bit, because I think a lot of people would want to have that discussion, as they would want to talk about anti-Semitism, as they would want to talk about many things. But, Leanne, I just don't think it was clever. I just don't think it was clever. No, it wasn't clever. And as I say, if, he, if, he, if, if there is a cabal of Islamists running things, I'd quite like to know about it. It'd be an interesting story, wouldn't it, for us as journalists? Yeah. Um, so, so there's that. And, yes, the second bit is stupid. And thirdly, um, there, is a, there is a feeling that... that, that um, uh, Islam gets away with a lot. When it comes to stuff which people can say and what people can't say, there are fears that Islam gets uh, is kind of protected a little bit too much. Uh, and yet on this issue, quite clearly, you know, uh, what he said was was grossly offensive, if it's not true, which I assume it isn't, uh, to, to a large number of Muslim people, and does indeed take us back quite a few years to the time when we couldn't talk about that sort of thing at all. I'm still not sure we can talk about it that much today, to be honest, Jeremy. Um, uh, there, there still seems to be, whenever you raise the issue of migration, a, a sort of uh, a howl that you're, you, you must be a racist in some way to stop untrammeled numbers of people coming into the country, uh, a city the size of Doncaster every year. I mean, uh, I, but... I, I agree with that, but my, my, my point today is I'm... I'm... I'm just frustrated that his language, we've talked about this all morning, and the way he did it has put back that discussion, which I think it is perfectly feasible and right to have. I think there's there's yeah. lots of scope for people who, to voice their opinion. I mean, Suella Braverman, Rod, on Friday, yeah. wrote a piece in The Telegraph saying that Islamists are in charge of Britain. And the concern that some have, let's say, um, Baroness Varsi, for example, she said, the lack of sort of condemnation from the Conservative Party suggests that anti-Muslim racism is, is tolerated in the Conservatives? Yes, I don't think it is. Uh, I think quite the opposite of that, and that what, what's happened now is, would suggest that, that, that that's simply not true, that, that Anderson's been suspended from the party. Uh, Suella Braverman, uh, an odd thing to say again, you know, explain how this has happened, explain why it's happened, and explain who these, and explain who these people are. You, you know, these kind of ad hominem insults about Islam don't do anybody any use uh, and it doesn't help us to deal with what is undoubtedly a serious a serious problem which I think a lot of people in the country are, are, are worried about which is the fact that we have within our shores uh, a, an unspecified number of people who loathe our culture loathe our way of life and some of whom would quite like to blow us up every now and again so there is that there is that problem about what we can do about it. I think the Lee Anderson thing for me, and, and my mate Rod texted, Rod te texted me, Rob, just now, and, and it's how you put things, isn't it, in the context yeah. of what's going on. One has yeah. to be really careful. Those demonstrations uh, across the weekend, blocking Tower Bridge, the, the stuff that was put yeah. on Big Ben, the police, yeah. I don't actually agree with what Captain Leader said, everybody tells me, stood there with their arms folded. So you could argue 
And, and, and here we go, people will go, don't be horrible. You could argue that Sadiq Khan, being in charge of the Metropolitan Police, could have done more to encourage the police to arrest those fanatics. That does not make him, the comments about him, correct at all. It's just a discussion we have to have. We have to have this discussion without fear of being cancelled or ostracised or whatever. And that, you know, when, when people say to me, Rod, people should be free to protest. They should also be free to say things that other people do not like. Shouldn't they? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I agree with that entirely. The, the problem which the Conservative Party have now is that, is that this will strengthen support for the Reform Party, I yeah. suspect, because I suspect that Lee Anderson will... Uh, I don't know what he's said today about reform, but I suspect that he will hop over to reform at some point. And that's building up to be cataclysmically bad for, for the Conservatives, yeah. um, you know, 13 to 14% of the vote. Um, and it, it kind of counteracts the problems which Labour is trying to deal with, with the uh, Muslim vote within its own constituencies, which is also um, probably about 8 to 10 percent of the vote. So it's, 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 it's clearly an issue which is of great importance at the next election. And what happens could actually be definitive. Rod, what do you think the Prime Minister should do? Because mm. previously he's used Suella Braverman, um, Lee Anderson as a, a voice that kind of caters to the further right in the party. Both of those two individuals have sort of come unstuck because what they said went too far. How does, how does Rishi Sunak now navigate this? I, I think it's very difficult for him. Um, I think it's incumbent upon people who are, as you put it, on the right of the party. I'm not sure it's quite as simple as right and left, um, but people who are on the right of the party to use their words with a degree of uh, judiciousness rather than ad hominem insults, which just annoy people. Um, otherwise, you know, I think Rishi Sunak is perfectly within his rights to say you've gone too far and that's offensive. Um, there are there are plenty, uh, as you put it, on the right who 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 speak very plainly and, and and but do so with a degree of of, of common sense you know usually Kenny Badenoch for example do you know what uh, I can, I, we have to we have to leave it Roddy but I'll tell you where we absolutely agree all of us you know you can have the discussion yeah. but the words and the way that it's said if they create vitriol if they create anger it doesn't do anybody any favors Rod it's always no, my right. it's always my favorite part of the week pal Rod Little the legend thank you for coming it on is. mate